royal wedding between Prince William and Kate Middleton is now just two days away. And as their big day gets closer and closer, the focus seems to be more on Kate than anything else. Today in our Wedding Wednesday report, WZZM 13's Tara Kuhnlein catches up with one local designer on a big wedding secret, Kate's wedding dress. Lauren and Dear, good morning. Ever since Prince William and Kate Middleton announced their plans to marry, nearly everyone is buzzing about what Kate will wear on her big day. I recently caught up with local designer Pamela DeVos, owner and creator of Pamela Roland Designs. She shared with me her thoughts on what Kate should wear on the Royal Runway. It'll be really interesting to see what she chooses. It's one of the royal wedding's best kept secrets. She has really pretty skin. She could wear white or cream. She could wear either. I think she'll wear white. One that belongs to the future princess bride, Kate Middleton. I can't wait to see her wedding dress. Ever since Prince William and Kate announced their engagement, designers from all across the world have had a close eye on Kate, wondering just who will design her royal wedding gown and what it will look like. She's tiny. She really could wear almost anything, um, but I do think the design that we came up with would look great on her. One of those designers is Pamela DeVos, creator of Pamela Roland Designs. She has dressed A-list celebrities like Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Lopez. It's interesting because I was asked by USA Today, um, I had two hours to de decide what I would, how I would dress her because they were going to go to print on this. And I said, two hours to design something for, you know, a princess? So I started to think, obviously not Diana, that was too 80s. But something a little more traditional, because I think Kate is traditional. She came up with two designs that were published in USA Today. What I designed, like I said, was more like Princess of Monaco's. It, had, it was lace, very, very fitted, but a full, big, long skirt. A, a good train, but nothing like Princess Diana's, not 25 feet. The sketches then ran in In Style magazine, leading some to believe she was a contender. I really wouldn't be. I'm an American designer she's going to choose a British designer. For now, the designer and design of Kate's dress will remain a guarded secret. You can't say it, because it's not fair. But, you know, they want to make their grand entrance. One that will be revealed in front of millions. I have a feeling I'll just go without sleep, because I'm, I don't want to wait. I wanna, I'll probably be up at 4 o'clock. As Kate struts down the royal runway. Well, the Royal Wedding is this Friday at 11 a.m. in London. That's 6 a.m. our time. Friday, ABC will start their wedding coverage at 4 a.m. So you can watch the Royal Wedding right here on WZZM 13 starting early at 4 a.m. Friday morning. But, of course, yeah. if you'd rather get your local news Friday, we indeed will be here. You can go to 13-2 for the morning news. That's Comcast 298 or Charter Digital 247. Yeah, yeah. Very, it was so interesting talking with Pamela. As just a woman who's just into fashion, I'm, you know, we're all curious on what she's wearing. But from a designer's point of view, you know, she's looking at it going, well, of course there's going to be long sleeves. And I was like, well, why would she wear long sleeves? Sure. Apparently that's just how they do it over mm -hmm. there. Sure. You know, royals have to cover their arms, you know, because they're in cathedrals and churches and it's more conservative oh. than we are here in America. Sure. So it was just really interesting to speak with a designer and get her sure. point yeah. of view on, on this dress. Some insights there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. That was a cool interview. Thanks, yeah. Tara. Yeah.